Well, I'm sure you've seen everybody running around with one of these, and have thought to yourself, I wanna! I wanna! I wanna! I wanna! I wanna! I wanna! Alright, so first what you're gonna wanna do is go to Steam. Get Desktop Mate. Yes, the free version. No, Miku's $15. Well worth it, you only need the free version for this. Go ahead and add it. Once it's installed, go ahead and launch it to make sure it works. Don't worry, you won't see this yet. Say hello to Default Chan. Isn't she cute? Alright, great. Go ahead and right click on her. Go ahead and quit. Now that we know it's working, time to pay homage to the Melon Gods and break it. Go ahead and go to Melon Loader. Get started. Come here to latest version for Windows. Go ahead and install this wherever you like. Oh, don't forget, if it's your first time touching this, make sure you get this based on whatever operating system you're using. 99% of you will need this top one. Once installed, run Melon Loader. It should find all of the games that you have already. For Desktop Mate, we're looking for version 0.66. Now, go ahead and click on it. For me, it's going to say reinstall. Don't worry about that. Just go ahead and click on install. Let it finish. Now that your desktop mate is ready for mods, we're going to start getting the mods working. First, you're going to need the .NET 6.0 runtime from Microsoft. Now, to get the mod itself. Thanks, Yuzu. Appreciate it. So, what you're going to do here is come over to releases. Click on this. You're going to want version 1.3 or newer. Reason being, before this, you would need a VRM 1.0, and that's a whole conversion process. We're going to file that under fuck that, because version 1.03 and newer allows you to use your normal, regular VRMs. Now, for me, I'm using 1.03. If you run into any issues with this, I heavily recommend using the 1.04 update, as there are a massive number of bug fixes, including the F4 bug, which I'll talk about later. Once downloaded, take the mods and user libraries folder. Copy into the desktop mate's main folder. Replace all. Now that that's done, launch the game either through the folder shortcut here or through Steam. I'm going to do it through Steam. You're going to see this scary console. This should take about 5 or so minutes the first time you load it. Way longer than mine did. Welcome back Default Chan, how you doing? Alright, as long as you see Default Chan vibing down here and it says one mod successfully loaded, you're good to go. If you see any red text down here, anything like permissions error or anything saying that the DLL is missing, save yourself some time, repeat these tutorial steps with the 1.04 version and it will fix all of your problems. If you insist on using the 1.03, make sure you redrag the DLLs in their respective folder. Once you know you're good to go, go ahead and click and hold on default chan and hit F4. It should bring up a window box here. If it doesn't, try to hold down shift in F4 or function in F4 as some users have reported success in doing this. Once you do, go ahead and pick your VRM of choice. I'm going to pick me. Boom. There's so fucking many, how do I pick just one? Don't worry creepy disembodied voice that would probably touch me in an alley. You don't have to. Go to the link in the description for the Goldberg emulator. The download should start automatically. If it doesn't, go ahead and click on latest build. Go ahead and open that up. Once you have that open, keep it off to the side. Go back in the Steam. Desktop me. Right click again. Browse local files a second time. This time what you're going to do, however, is you're going to back out to your common folder. Click on desktop me. Make a copy. Paste it somewhere like your desktop. Give it a minute. Once you do that, rename it to something else. Literally anything else. Now, I like to keep this as simple as possible. So I'll rename it to desktop me instance 2. Once you've done that, take it and drag it back into your common folder. Once that's finished being put back into your common folder, go ahead and open it. First thing you're going to want to do, right click on the desktop made shortcut. Then send it to desktop as a shortcut. Rename this shortcut so you're able to tell it apart from the other shortcut. I'm going to follow suit like I did before and I'm going to rename this desktop made instance 2. Go ahead and leave that there. Great. Now what you're going to do in the desktop mate instance 2 folder, you're going to go to desktop mate data. You're going to go in here, and once you're in here, you're going to go to plugins, and x86 underscore 84, you're going to take this steam api 64.dll and nothing else, only this. You're going to take this, drag it in here, and replace the file in destination. So now that we've created a couple of separate instances, I have decided to take the steam version and add a shortcut next to the instance 2 shortcut that we made. Same deal, just different folder. What you're going to understand and want to see first and foremost is the desktop made initial version for instance one is an internet shortcut for your Steam. The second one is going to be a manually created normal shortcut that is going to link directly to that folder. If you see these, they are set up correctly. As you can see, I have the Steam version running and she's over here minding her own business having a good time. What I'm going to try to do now is launch instance two now that we have that set up. You should see another box pop up. I'm going to move her out of the way because the uh, 
she should pop up right here boom now we got two of them look at that look at them aren't they cute now i do want you to know that you are not limited to two you can make an instance three by copying and pasting this again and repeating these steps however make sure you name it instance three four five and so on also as a word of warning this is very cpu intensive the more you add the more you're going to slow down performance on other things oh and most importantly they can never touch